Lexicon is an American company that engineers, manufactures, and markets audio equipment as a brand of Harman International Industries, a subsidiary of South Korea-based firm Samsung Electronics. The company was founded in 1971 and headquartered in Waltham, Massachusetts with offices in Salt Lake City. It was acquired by Harman in 1993. Lexicon traces its history to the 1969 founding of American Data Sciences by MIT professor Dr. Francis F. Lee and engineer Chuck Bagnasky, developers of digital audio devices for medical heart monitoring. The company is widely known for the design and development of the multi speaker audio system for the Rolls Royce Phantom in addition to the Hyundai Genesis, Hyundai Equus, and the Kia K900. Topic: Professional audio equipment. Topic: Digital delay systems. Lexicon is sometimes credited as the inventor of commercial digital delay products. The first product to market was the popular Gotham Delta T101 delay in 1971, followed by the Delta T102, the first product to bear the Lexicon name, in 1972. <laughs> Reverb and effects Lexicon is considered the godfather of digital reverb as one of the early players on the reverb reverberation market. The company was among the first to produce commercially available digital reverb equipment, beginning in 1979 with the Model 224. Also released in 1979 was the Prime Time, one of the first digital delay units designed explicitly to provide effects. In 1986, Lexicon released the 480L, costing more than some cars, a successor of the 224XL. The PCM series was introduced as a smaller, more economical option particularly in live situations where the 224XL was too cumbersome for a rack rider. First in the series was the PCM60 1984, followed a few years later by the Lexicon PCM70, the latter adding multi-effects from the 224X and a digital screen interface. The MRC, an early MIDI control surface, was released in the late 1980s to provide remote control of the PCM70, LXP series processors, and other MIDI devices. David Gilmour from Pink Floyd used a Lexicon PCM70 to store the circular delay sounds in songs such as Shine on You Crazy Diamond and Time. In the 1994 The Division Bell Tour, in the 1990s Lexicon continued the PCM series with two new units, the PCM80 Reverb, Multi-Effects Unit and PCM90 Digital Reverb. The Noverb, one of the first add-on DSP cards, was released in 1993 as a plug-in card for Nubus-based Macintosh computers. This card was repurposed and released in 1997. As the Model 300, another iconic reverb, multi-effect unit. Lexicon continued the PCM series in the 2000s with new mid-level units including the PCM96 and PCM96 surround, standalone reverb units that easily integrate into doors. Also from the 1990s comes the consumer-level LXP series including the LXP1, LXP5, LXP15 and the LXP15II, and later the affordable MPX1. A new low-priced reverb series, the MX series, was introduced in the 2000s, with the Lexicon MX200 as the entrance model. <laughs> <laughs> HD recording Lexicon was a pioneer in the hard disk recording market, introducing the Opus system in 1988. This system feature 8 channels of disk I.O. along with an integrated 12-channel digital mixer. In the following years, Opus was upgraded with EQ and console automation. In the mid-1990s Lexicon Studio and Core 2 audio interfaces were introduced. 
they were notable in that they could be expanded with a lexicon reverb daughterboard that was then accessible to the recording software. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Electroacoustic enhancement. In 1988, Lexicon developed Laris, an electronic processing system intended to give performance spaces a tailored acoustic experience. Laris uses microphones to pick up the sound, central processing units to apply time-variant anti-feedback, delay and reverberation algorithms, and banks of loudspeakers to bring the enhanced audio signal back into the performance space. Laris associates split away from Lexicon in 1995. Lexicon continues to benefit from its initial Lari's research and development with the company offering a scaled down and simplified microprocessor controller, the MC12, intended for auditory enhancement within home and professional listening spaces. The system is called Lexicon Live. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Home theater equipment. Lexicon's first foray into home theater equipment was with its surround processor, the CP1. Later, a CP2 was released, followed by the CP3 and the CP3+. The CP3, CP3+, were the first of its home theater products to be THX certified. With the arrival of Dolby Digital, the CP line had to be discontinued. It was replaced with the DC line, namely the DC-1 and the DC-2. It was at this point that the company introduced its revolutionary surround processing algorithm Logic 7. Logic 7 was notable for generating a convincing sound field from seven loudspeakers when presented with either a stereo or 5.1 input. After a while, Lexicon added the MC1 to its lineup of the DC1 and DC2, and the MC1 became its new flagship. A few years later, Lexicon introduced the MC12 and the MC12B. The MC12B was in all respects identical to the MC12 except that it had balanced outputs in addition to the standard unbalanced ones. Shortly after this, Lexicon filled in the lower end of its product line by providing an MC8 and an MC4. They also produced a receiver, the RV8. As of this writing, 8 2016, its current flagship is the MC14. Conspicuously absent from this model is the room correction offered by its recent predecessors such as the MC12. In addition to surround processors, Lexicon also sells the Lux and CX multi-channel home theater amplifiers and the RT20 DVD player. Its discontinued NT line of amplifiers were rebadged Bryston amplifiers. Topic Lexicon BD30 THX certification controversy In 2010, an audioholics.com review revealed that the chassis and internal components of Lexicon's BD30 Blu-ray player, retail price $3,500, was identical to that of the Oppo BDP83, retail price $500. Audiovisual testing indicated no changes were made in performance either. Furthermore, it appears that this player was given THX certification the first Blu-ray player with this distinction, despite failing fundamental THX tests. Currently, evidence of its certification has largely disappeared from the THX website after this was revealed. 